Hey everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys and today's video is going to be a, uh, a comparison video. Now you might have seen these two products in separate videos before on my channel. I'll have them both down in the description below if you want to get a more in-depth look at each of them. This is just going to be a comparison. I already did unboxing so why do it again? But today I'm comparing the new vending new boom Bluetooth speaker with JBL's Flip 3 Bluetooth speaker. The idea for this video came from a question on Amazon about the uh, new boom about this this speaker right here. And the question says, how does it compare to a JBL Flip 3 or a UE Boom 2? Now I have the Flip 3, so I'm going to be comparing it to the Flip 3 and not the UE Boom 2 because I don't have that and uh here we go i figured we'd start with the flip three which the unboxing video for is right here uh it's a small like really compact small speaker for a size comparison here is a uh, a can of coke and they're pretty much the same the speaker is just a little bit taller it is a really small speaker so you can bring it wherever on the sides you've got your two uh, subwoofers and then in here you've got a couple tweeters you've got your buttons on the back and whatnot and it sounds really nice for how small it is it sounds really really nice so I'm going to pair it to my phone and we're gonna have a listen to what it sounds like so as far as sound goes I'm gonna put this at about a quarter volume on my iPhone and then I'm gonna hit play it's respectable um, it, it's definitely gonna beat out your iPhone speakers at higher volume or really any phone speakers and then I'm gonna bring it up to half volume so it's not the loudest speaker that was only half volume I in the unboxing, I brought it up to full volume. I actually have humans in the building this time around, so I can't blast it. But go check that out if you want to hear full volume. It gets really, really loud. It's nice and clean. It's crisp. Uh, there's not too much hissing when you get to higher volumes. It just overall sounds really, really nice. Do it. Do it. Make that noise. Oh. And at $63.95 currently on Amazon, which I'll have linked down below if you want to check it out and buy it, it's really not that bad. It doesn't quite compare to a dedicated, you know, stereo sound system, but you gotta remember this is like the size of a soda can, so can't really expect too much out of it. But for what it's worth, it's really, really nice. And uh, let's uh, take a look at the new boom real quick. Now the new boom is, bring over the soda can again is a significantly taller than the can and kind of the same shape and width of the can it's just blockier obviously so you got your subwoofer back here and then on this side you have your two tweeters and then the thing that makes this really cool is it solar charges so instead of having to plug it in to charge it you can also use it to charge other devices it's a uh, 4400 milliamp hour battery but instead of having to plug it in, you can just set it down and let it charge. And if you see that green dot right there, that's the uh, charging indicator for the uh, solar panel. So my studio lights are charging it as though they were the sun. They're about as bright and hot as the sun right now, but summer, woohoo. So I'm going to turn this on and pair it to my phone and we'll give it a listen. All right, so I'm gonna start her out at a quarter volume. It's a little, little quieter than the Flip 3, but it's still pretty respectable. And then we're going to go up to half. So 
So again, it's not the loudest thing on the planet. That was only half volume because there's other people here. But it does compare to the Flip 3 pretty well as far as sound goes. I would personally say that the Flip 3 is just a little bit crisper. You know, the, the bass is a bit more punchy on the Flip 3 compared to the new boom. But overall, it is a very, very good speaker. And either of these two would definitely be worth your money. Uh, just for comparison, right now on Amazon, the new boom is about 80 bucks, but it has fluctuated from 60 to 80 to anywhere in between, depending on the day of the week and all kinds of other things that are probably dependent on new vending side of everything. Yeah, you can find it anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks, and for what you get in this package, you get solar charging, you get a 4400 milliamp hour battery. Um, you get a really nice sounding speaker, you even get a flashlight, so for those of you out there that think that's incredible, there you go. So overall I think they uh, play really well with each other, um, they trade blows, they're in about the same league uh, price wise and sound wise. Again, like I said, I think the JBL Flip 3 is a little, little bit crisper, um, it's a bit punchier, but that might not matter for you, you just might want a speaker that sounds good. And at this price point, either of these would be a decent choice. Personally, I can't really pick one or the other. I like them both, they're really nice. But as far as money's concerned, this is probably the better pickup right now at the time that I'm recording this. Who knows, it might change tomorrow while I'm editing this. But if you're really an outdoor kind of person, I would definitely pick up the new boom. Not only does it solar charge, but you can charge devices from it. Uh, it's got a flashlight, it sounds really good. Um, you know, it, it kind of does a lot of the outdoorsy kind of stuff in one package. They're both splash proof, you can wash them off in the sink, you can get them rained on and they'll still work fine. I believe the new boom comes in black, obviously, and I think it comes in a light blue. The Flip 3 comes in a bunch of different colors, black, yellow, pink, teal, orange so if you like color options the flip is probably going to be something you're going to want to look at but as i said before i like them both um i can't really pick one or the other and in my opinion they're about equal if you were to take one of them away and leave me with the other no matter which one you took away i'd be fine i'd prefer to have both uh just for options sake but they're, they're about the same. Guys, that's all for this video. I'll have the links to purchase these two speakers down below, as well as the links to their unboxing videos, and the question on Amazon that gave me the inspiration for this video. If you like this video and you like this kind of content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as well as turning on that bell so that way you get notified whenever I post another video. This has been Jake with Technology and Toys, and until the next video, guys, goodbye.